we broke a lot of barriers in Orlando when it comes to art. Um, even with City Art, is the way they used to show art. Now it's it's completely different. Now basically they give us the gallery to do whatever we want. We come in, we put our work up, and we just make we just do what we do. We teach each other in a way, even though if, if we don't talk to each other, but by being around each other, by being on Facebook or wherever, we 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 help each other to grow. We don't have to go look at artists in New York or LA to be like, oh, I love what they're doing because we, we are right here. There's this, there's this guy, there's this guy, and we can actually we elevate each other. You know, it's Orlando's not a major city, even though it wants to be, so the little bit of urban art it does have has to be preserved, and you know, we have to push it you know, a little extra than it would have like New York, uh, California, Chicago, so definitely, definitely important. Other scenes, you know, you kind of get the animosity and everything like that, where over here, you know, whether it's Tobar, Parker, Swamberger, Nioso, like we see each other, we're cool, we can hang out. It's like there's really no competition because we're all friends. I feel like the African American community is beautiful. Um, for so long, especially in media these days, they're seen as a uh, degradation of society and they're misrepresented. So, uh, I mean, my main objective was to show them in a different light, show the vitality of the black community, but also the reason why I picked Paramore because it's a local community. And a lot of people don't know what's going on in their own backyard. I personally think that there's uh, a lot of up and coming younger artists that are kind of getting together to kind of do shows like this and stuff. Um, I think that the Orlando art industry has a lot of opportunity, but I'm glad to see that there's events like this that are going on, especially for young artists like ourselves as well. I feel like everyone that, that puts in work into their art um, all have a different category and look to it so that you have a broad view of, you know, our creative people. So therefore, you know, you're always going to be expecting to see something different or new. Um, I feel that in Orlando, or at least Central Florida, that you can uh, have substance, you can have talent, and if you have enough drive and ingenuity in order to get yourself out there, that you, you can really develop a following, uh, a name, a brand. Um, this is my second show here, and I feel, I feel like a lot of warmth from the other artists. I just feel like they're, they're really welcoming to new people. They, they're willing to express their appreciation for new artists and extend their hand out to provide a seven stone for new artists here. And so I was in the craft store, and I said, you know what, I'm just gonna buy the bottle, so I actually bought the bottle in the craft store and then built a miniature version of me in clay, which is the negative feeling of being bottled up as an entrepreneur, okay? And then I said, well, I don't want to just do the negative feeling, I want to also do the positive feeling. And so that's how this painting here happened. So the painting behind me, so this is me getting outside of the bottle because I asked myself this one question, are you building something beautiful to you? And so that's, that's the way I got out of the bottle. And so that was kind of my hope for other people to see it too. I love to read. Um, so anything with a really good story that stirs up the imagination really gets me going. <laughs> it makes people think, it stirs up, you know, thoughts and ideas and reading and storytelling and music just kind of stirs up. It makes up the culture pretty much It's a part of the culture of the community. As you can look around, we have a very diverse group of people, very talented. We do group shows as well as individual shows. We're all about supporting each other and growing ourselves as artists and as business owners. We have actually over 94 pieces of work in this gallery between 12 of us from our group. We do different kinds of workshops. We do workshops that sometimes involve the business of art. Sometimes it will uh, pertain to different types of artwork. Sometimes we'll do workshops for each other where we'll demonstrate a new technique. So it's a group where we learn, support, and grow from and with each other. Art in general is important just because it gives you another way to express yourself. Uh, I feel like if you just depend on your social networks or just communicating in, in general with just words, it, you never fully get out your emotions. You don't ever fully get out what uh, what's going on in your head. So you have to find an outlet, and art is that. Art is music, you know, drawing, painting, dancing, whatever, and that's that's why it's important. It's an expression of you know what's going on upstairs.